Ooh, did you see that? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be taking a look at the top 10 games with the best car crashes. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be delving into any and every game that features cars and the best way to crash them. As there are sandbox games with driving features, this will not be exclusive to racing games or driving simulators. We won't just be limiting this list to crashes based solely on physics, but also the means of how you crash the cars and the visual results. Number 10, Blur. What happens when you take the chaotic weapons of Mario Kart and put it in a Need for Speed Underground style aesthetic? Well, you get Blur. With its blend of stylish colors, realistic car depictions, and vehicular combat, seeing your car go flipping after tripping a mine or getting hit by an enemy missile is a gorgeous sight to behold thanks in part to the game's colorful, blurry trails. While the overall physical destruction wasn't there, it was the sheer fun of the combat that helped make those crashes all the more better. Number 9, Grid 2. A more realistic approach to the racing genre, Grid 2 makes for some fast-paced and tightly controlled races, taking place in real locations all around the globe. Grid 2 brings in a plethora of cars to offer an experience that rivals the big boys like Forza and Gran Turismo. Keeping the realistic side in mind, the crashes are, although imperfect, quite the spectacle, as we see shreds of paint fly and parts of your car chip away and thrown onto the tracks. While Grid 2 may not have the insane physics of other racing games, it really goes the extra mile to create a deeper sense of immersion. Number 8, Dirt Rally. The latest game in the Dirt series, Dirt Rally, like its predecessors and sequels, is a rally racing game, with races taking place on all sorts of various terrains. The series has been praised for its fast pace and extremely well-made depiction of rally racing. Yet, even with its superb attention to detail, it doesn't hold back on the crazy crashes. Over crest. 200 past junction. Due to the uneven terrain and sudden turns, you'll need to make sure to slow down at certain intervals, otherwise you'll be sent flying. Holding down the gas pedal can make for some high-flying stunts and even bigger crashes. Right front feels flat. Number 7, Flat Out, Ultimate Carnage. The Flat Out series is no stranger to car-on-car -car destruction, as Ultimate Carnage continues to support the demolition derby style Flat Out is known for. While the racing portion in the series hasn't created anything really spectacular, it's the carnage that makes it stand out. Thanks in part to the evolution of gaming, Ultimate Carnage boasts up to 40 unique destructible parts for every car. Let's face it, this game was made for spectacular crashes. Of course, this wouldn't be the only game series that Bugbear would become known for. Number 6, BeamNG.Drive. So, you want to just bypass all that racing nonsense and go straight to the crashing? Then BeamNG.Drive is definitely for you. Essentially just a driving slash crashing simulation, BeamNG utilizes powerful soft body physics to create a crashing system that creates extremely realistic scenarios. The level of attention to detail of the car physics has apparently even caught the eye of some movie executives, wanting to use this game as a prototype before sending actual stuntmen out. However, as amazing as the car crashes are, in terms of video gameplay, it doesn't really have much to offer. Number 5, Watch Dogs 2. After the first game's not so successful launch, there were a lot of skeptics for this hacker sequel. Thankfully, it was relatively well met with its cheesy story, colorful San Francisco setting, and even more ways to hack than before. While Watch Dogs 2 may lack the car physics of its sandbox competitors, it more than makes up for it in its destructive nature. Thanks to your hacking skills, you can steer any NPC car into oncoming traffic, break traffic lights to cause pileups, use the environment, or cause every car around you to malfunction. Marcus might want to bring justice, but he can also kind of act like a supervillain sometimes. Number 4, Project Cars. Another entry that took on the realistic motorsports giants. Project Cars did its best to stand out from the crowd by bringing in more realistic aspects than its competitors. From dynamic weather and physics to highly detailed vehicles and tracks, it does a good job of holding its own. While the crash physics themselves aren't really something to write home about, it's all about how one crash can turn into a very large and spectacular pileup. Tight turns in a lot of cars makes for big piles of junk, 
giving Project Cars its rightful place on this list. Number 3. Next Car Game – Wreckfest If you thought Bugbear was done with its demolition derbies after Fallout Ultimate Carnage, think again. Known at first as Next Car Game and then Wreckfest now combines the two names. As it plainly sounds, the game is all about, well, you guessed it, wrecking cars. Unlike BeamNG.Drive, however, Wreckfest boasts different modes such as a demolition derby and just straight up racing. Also utilizing a soft body physics engine, Wreckfest creates extremely gorgeous crashes in high levels of detail. Unfortunately, the game's development has been slow up until recently, making us wonder if there's anything else this game will ever do. Number 2. Need for Speed – Hot Pursuit Everyone loves a good street race, except for cops. The 16th entry into the popular Need for Speed franchise, the 2010 reboot of Hot Pursuit amps up the gameplay by allowing players to play as the classic street racer or the justice-bringing law enforcement officer. Whether you're a speed demon or a guardian of the streets, both sides have various means of bringing each other down. From spike strips to roadblocks and even EMPs, it's a wonder how neither party is killed and vehicular manslaughter isn't added to the list of charges. Either way though, Criterion makes some excellent and destructive racing games. Before we crash into first place, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Burnout Paradise Ready to race? Take me down to Paradise City, where the cars are fast and the crashes are gritty. The first of the Burnout games to take place in an open world, Burnout Paradise set the bar for racing games to an all new height. Seamless missions and gameplay accompany an awesome soundtrack to create an extremely fun gameplay experience. Of course, this wouldn't be number 1 on this list without its awesome crash system. Seeing our cars get crunched, flipped, wheels sent flying, or all of the above. With all of this, of course, in a cinematic slow motion view, car destruction has probably never looked better. This is one game where crashing wasn't frustrating, but more of a treat to behold. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.